Hi there, Dimitri Katz here again, and uh, today with the uh, Pendic pen, we will be changing a cartridge. Now, I've done this a few times, but every time I do it, I still have to read the manual because uh, it's, well, it's not very intuitive, but I'm going to go through the steps and hopefully uh, this will give you an idea what you have to do. Okay, so let's take a look. First of all, we've got to pull off the cap. So I'm going to pull the cap off here carefully because obviously there's a needle in there. Okay, now we're going to take the needle off. So just unscrew that. And you should put this into a sharps container or dispose of properly. Okay, we'll take that out of the screen. Okay, there. So now the next thing we have to do is we have to turn it on. So one, two, three. Okay, it's on. You see I only have five and a half units there. So I'm going to just throw that away. Okay, now you have to press M four times. One, two, three, four. Okay, so now we see the little row of dots across here. And now we press minus. We gotta hold that for a couple seconds. Alright, now it's gonna go ahead and start rewinding. Now this is gonna take a while. I can see this thing moves pretty slowly, but you don't have to keep your finger pressed down the whole time. You just press it for two seconds, it's blinking that it's going back, you can see the little arrow there. And we'll just go ahead and let it, uh, let it do its thing here. Alright, I'm going to set this down for a second while it's going ahead and rewinding. Now, call me a complainer, but um, somehow the, the sound of this machine, it's not a very elegant sound that they have with this little motor here. Okay, now it's done. Great, okay. So the next thing we do is we're gonna take the cartridge out, the old cartridge, so we just unscrew that. See the old cartridge. Okay, there we go. So I have an empty cartridge. Then we put a new cartridge. Put that in here. Okay. Now, before we put the needle in there, we're going to have to run it forward. All right? So, take the used cartridge out. Okay. Now, press ACT to start the process of driving the plunger forward. ACT is here. Let's do that. Now when you do this, you really want to make sure that you don't put the needle in first because this is putting the plunger all the way forward to take out the empty space. And if you had a needle on here, obviously it would just be throwing the insulin away. So you don't want to do that. Okay, so you can see in here, hopefully you can read that. It says we have 300 units, that means it's a full container. Okay, now we're going to put the, uh, let's see here. All right. So let's see. Uh, all right. Press M four times. One, two, three, four. Okay. Now it says. Uh, ch -ch -ch. pressed M four times. Now we press plus. Okay. All right. I think we're supposed to put the needle on here. All right. Put the needle on. 
Now we got to get rid of the air in there. So let's press plus. Up. All right. So now we've gotten all the air out of it, and uh, by pressing plus there, I press it a second time to stop it. If you don't stop it now, you see I just got rid of uh, almost 12 units here, which seems like a bit of a waste. So you have to press plus again to stop it. All right, and uh, now we press that again. Okay, great. Now I have to. Now I'm ready to go and do my usual shot procedure. So I'm going to press. It's on 0 0.5. I'm going to press that one time. And now finally I can take the shot. All right, so I come here, here. Okay, great. Now I can go ahead and do my usual shot. So as you can see, this isn't the most intuitive process, but hopefully that'll help you uh, if you don't want to read through the manual or if you're just curious how it works with this machine. Okay. Thanks a lot. Diabetes Tech Review. Have a good day.